Good day everyone, this is Pete, and I wanted to share another video on some of the cool stuff I learned at Autodesk University 2020. And this next one, again, comes from Mike Thomas's really good uh, inventor sketching class, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. But there is uh, a topic that I didn't realize you could do, so this is something completely new to me. I thought this is really cool. But sometimes when you're working in an assembly and you want to grab parts of another piece of geometry, like for example, I want to create a gasket for the top of this motor, and I want to project the edges of this, um, this little attachment point onto a new part, into a new sketch, but I don't want to create that adaptive relationship. Um, the, I used to have to project the geometry I would blow away the links and then I could work on constraining it. But I learned a really neat trick in Mike's class. So I just want to show that to you. So I'm going to create a part. I'm going to call it a uh, gasket. Yeah, really creative here. <laughs> Go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to base the gasket on this top surface, just like normal. And then I would create a sketch here. And I'm going to base that off of this part right here, the XY plane. And then I would launch into the project geometry. Now, normally, if we project geometry, it works. We get this cross part association. Uh, I don't want to do that. So when I project this time, by holding down the control key, I can grab the geometry, but it makes a fixed copy. So this is really powerful because now I can just grab the geometry that I need and then I can set about putting in arcs, etc., that I may want to fully connect the shapes together, etc., etc. So I'll, I'll go relatively quickly here just to kind of frame out the rest of the design. Come on. There it is. And then I'll do this side as well. There it is. And there's a couple of lines. So the, the critical part was I was able to grab the geometry that I needed. And now I can play connect the dots to, to fill out the rest of the shape. So you could, if you hit F8, you could get rid of all of these constraints to fix it. And then you could parametrically design the rest of the park. Give this a diameter, et cetera, all the sizing. But just for the sake of time, I'll leave it. I'll finish the sketch. I'll go ahead and extrude this shape. And I'll just pick this profile and we'll say it's, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or something. And voila, I've created the part, but notice there's no cross part association. So this is a great way if I have like a design and I need to extract some information, but I don't necessarily want it to always be tied to this. Maybe we're designing a new family of gaskets. This is a really slick technique. So that's it. It's just another way to use existing geometry, reference it, but then not actually create that associative link. Pretty neat workflow. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.